Good morning. Welcome back to the channel. All raring to go. Right, let's have a bit of an update. What's happening? The combine, the finished service in it. I'll just turn uh, the camera around and show you what they've done on it. Or I'll try to explain what's been done, you'll not see it. Right, well there was nothing major wrong with it, just a few modifications. They've had the trunking off and they've modified the uh, stone trap, uh, the rubber flaps around it because uh, some serial numbers they were finding was getting a bit of corn on the uh, dropping onto the front axle. You can see, we can. Yeah, onto the front axle under there, but uh, I was getting a few, so hopefully that'll stop that now. So it, that was done, that was a quite a, a, a biggish, well, biggish job. It took a fair while, I think, but nothing major wrong. It's had a full fluid service, everything. It's all ready for action. As you saw in the other video, I changed the chopper blades, ready to go. Just the header, I've just got the knife to do on it. Yeah, I've just got uh, some new sections to put in the uh, knife. It's got the sparing in, which is uh, brand new because I didn't uh, use it last year. So, uh, yeah, basically, it's good to go. Oh, one thing that did actually uh, fit to the combine, what it didn't have before, the fitted uh, a camera to the loading spout. About the only optional extra, what it didn't have, and uh, we missed that last year because you couldn't see the over the side of the trailer, the other side of the trailer. But uh, yep, yeah, that's been fitted along with the uh, reversing one. So uh, yeah, it's all sorted now. Good to go. I just want to swill down with a pressure washer just to get the dust off because it's been in this shed collecting dust a while while we've been moving corn. So uh, yeah, good to go. Hashtag your harvest. Yeah, we had some barley go last week while I was away, and there's some more going this week. So uh, that should uh, clean this out, ready for harvest. But we've still got a bit of wheat left, and that is staying, as far as I'm aware at the minute. So uh, that'll be moved off the drying floor onto this concrete floor, and uh, mixed in with uh, next year's. Also, while I've been away, the uh, the peas have been vined, all the fields. So uh, I'm afraid um, there's no footage of that either. But uh, anyway, maybe next year. Most of the all seed rape now has had its pod stick while I was away. Um, it, that was about two weeks ago, I believe. And um, yeah, we're just uh, roundup's been delivered. So um, we're ready to uh, spray it off. Uh, we're having a contract to do it, so um, we don't actually run the rape down and, sh well, I know we shouldn't shatter any pods, but rather than squash it down, we've got a uh, contract coming in to spray it with a self spell sprayer. And he should be here very shortly. Here he is, Mr. Contractor with his sands. Here's our main man. While I was away, I had some new tracks fitted to the Challenger. Now they look the business. Plenty of tread on them now, that'll last it. Anyway, there's a bit of video uh, of them being fitted, what Andrew took, so uh, I'll uh, show you that next. But uh, yeah, they replaced both tracks and some of the idlers that needed uh, doing, the rubber was coming off. Oh uh, yeah, that's a new one. But uh, yep, she'll grip now with them on.
come back this way a bit. Well, this is the fly tipping. Nice lot, thank you very much, whoever's dumped it. Plenty of tyres and rubble. Let's see if I can find any addresses or any giveaways, whose it is. In response to that fly tipping I just showed you, we've uh, done the gate, set of gates up in order to keep them out. So, uh, yeah. We'll, we'll stop them somehow, but they'll only go and tip them either maybe in front of the gates or uh, in another field somewhere, but anyway, you can only try, as they say.
Ray is out in force today with the contractors doing the thing and we've ourselves propelled out as well we're spraying corn bins today well not corn bins corn stores so uh, yeah we best get on foot so we can get combining we spray out all of the corn stores just before harvest to sanitize them so it kills any bugs insects or pests that might be present that can get into the stored crop and reduce its quality We've gone and purchased a Heaver Stealth Low Disturbance Subsoiler along with a uh, Twin Hoppered Multi-Seeder for sowing our all seed rake and cover crops or applying slug pellets all at the same time. So uh, yeah, George and Andrew went down to see it to, to Opico HQ this week and you'll see it in action in next week's video. Also arriving on the farm next week will be a Cavernland uh, 6 metre trailed quali disc short disc carrier which is very similar to a horse joker for chitting stubbles or working seed bed downed with. So uh, yeah we'll have a full look round that and see it in action in uh, next week's video all being well. It's better. Just giving it a swirl down with the pressure washer just to get all the dust off from it being stood in the shed. We're ready for when we start, which uh, looks like it'll probably be, well, be next week now because tomorrow's forecast isn't very good. I don't think it's very good for the weekend, so uh, yeah, we'll soon be going. Well, that's it for this week's edition of Video Diary on the Farm. I uh, hope you enjoyed the content and thank you very much for watching. And uh, at least it's more back to normal this week. Anyway, if you have liked it, please hit that like, share and subscribe and um, we'll catch you again next week.